Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 5 of US Examination Mathematics 1 section. For this question we have chosen a question which was asked already in US Examination in the year 2014. So let's see what the question asks us and what is the process we need to follow to get to the right answer. In this question we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 over uh, 6 times x squared plus 7x minus 3 divided by x squared minus x minus 2 over 2x squared minus x minus 6. So what do we do in these kinds of questions? We always have to try to simplify our work. And how do we do that? Is by looking at these, ex uh, uh, these expressions and trying to find what is another way of writing these expressions which will uh, help us simplify as much as we can because as we simplify the rest of the rest of the calculations will become very easy to uh, lead us to the right answer so what do we do here we will see each expression over here the numerator and denominator of each fraction to see how can they be written differently let's see let's start with the numerator of the first fraction so we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 what is another way of writing this uh, expression so we have x, x, x times x is x squared. So minus 3 times 1, is give us, it gives us minus 3. Minus 3 plus 1, it gives us minus 2. So another way of writing this expression is x minus 3 times x plus 1. Now let's look at the denominator of the first fraction. We have 6x squared plus 7x minus 3. So we have here 3x times 2x. And here we have minus, uh, minus 1 and 3. Why? Because minus 1 times 3 gives us minus 3. Now we cross multiply. 3x times 3, it's 9x. 2x minus 1, uh, 2x times minus 1, it's minus 2x. So 9x minus 2x, it gives us 7x. So another way of writing this expression is 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 3. Just make sure you don't make the mistake when you write the expression, you don't take the cross values, you take the one that is in front. So 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 3. So please don't make that mistake. Now let's look at the numerator of the first fraction. We have x squared minus x minus 2. So we have x times x. We have minus, uh, minus 2 times 1 because minus 2 times 1 it gives us minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1 it gives us minus 1. So another way of writing this expression is x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now let's look at the denominator of the second fraction. We have 2x squared minus x minus 6. So 2x times x, it gives us 2x squared. So what do we have here? We have, in this case, we have 3 times minus 2. Why? Because 3 times minus 2, is, it gives us minus 6. We cross multiply 2x time, uh, times minus 2 is minus 4x, x times 3 is 3x, so minus 4x uh, uh, plus 3x, it gives us minus x. So we have here 2x plus 3 times x minus 2. So this is another way of writing this expression. And all we have to do now, just write the, these four, uh, this way of uh, the way that we have just found so these expressions we, we will write in these fractions in this form that we just found them so we have x minus 3 times x plus 1 over we have 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 3 now we have the division over here so when we have division and we have a fraction all we can do is just multiply with the reciprocal of this fraction when i say reciprocal it means that the denominator and numerator they change places so denominator becomes numerator and numerator becomes denominator so we have i will write that like directly so 2x plus 2x plus 3 times x minus 2 over we have x minus 2 times x plus one. Now, as you can see, we only have multiplication, and we have when we have multiplication and uh, fractions. Now we can easily simplify. Let's start first with x minus two can be cancelled with x minus two. We have x plus one and x plus one. We have here two x plus three 
can be cancelled with 2x plus, plus 3 and the only things that are left are x minus 3 over 3x minus 1 which is the final answer for this question. So this is the process you need to follow to get to the right answer. Just make sure that when, when you are dealing with these kinds of questions, you always try to find the ways how can these uh, expressions be written differently, which will enable us to simplify as much as we can. This was question number five, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.